Hi there and welcome to Effect House. In this tutorial, we'll be showing how to use the hand tracker to create customized hand tracking effects. We'll also explain how to show different objects with the event node and rotate objects using the visual scripting panel. We'll be covering index finger gesture control, creating an index finger hand tracker, assigning model, material, and transform, controlling rotation with visual scripting, controlling objects visibility with index finger gesture, hand open gesture control, create hand trackers for five finger, controlling objects visibility with hand open gesture. Before we start, Download the hand gesture package linked below and find the unfinished underscore hand gesture project. The unfinished model will be great for practice. Open the unfinished model in Effect House. Once you open the unfinished underscore hand gesture project in Effect House, you'll see all the assets you'll need in the assets panel. Move your cursor to the drop-down menu in the preview panel and select Add Media. Select hand.mp4 from your local files. First, let's try to create an effect of a thunder sign attached to the index finger. We'll make it only show up when it detects the index finger gesture. We'll start by adding a hand tracker entity to the hierarchy panel. Do this by clicking Add Object. Air Tracking, Hand Tracker. Once Hand Tracker has been added, click plus Add Object again and add an empty object. Nest the Hand Tracker underneath this new empty object. Create another empty object and nest it under the Hand Tracker. You can rename these objects to a name that is reasonable for your hand gesture controller. For this example, we will name these objects 3D Assets Container, Index F, and Lightning. Select the object with hand tracker. In our example, it will be Index F. Find the hand tracker component in the Inspector panel and change the anchor from hand center to index fingertip. Then you will need to check rotate axis Z in order for the object to have the same Z rotation as the finger. Next, select the lightning object in the hierarchy panel to open the inspector panel. Click plus add component at the bottom of the inspector panel and select. 3D model to add a model component. Change the mesh to lighting bolt. And material to be lighting underscore matte in the model component. In the transform component, change the scale of X, Y, and Z to 0.1. Change the Y position to 2. This will create some distance between the fingertips and the lightning object. The preview should look something like this. Next, we'll move on to controlling the 3D lightning rotation with visual scripting. Select the lightning object to open the inspector panel. Find the rotation parameter under transform and click the plus icon to select set rotation. You'll see that a node was created automatically in the visual scripting panel. Next, we need to control the rotate speed. To do this, we'll go to the visual scripting panel and create a variable by clicking variables 
Add variable. We'll then make the following changes to the variable. Change the name to rotate speed. Change the type to double. Change the value to 240. After these changes, click the plus button next to the variable name and select Get Variable. This will create a variable node in the Visual Scripting panel. Next, we'll need to add the Get Time node to control the rotation. Click Add Node Time. Get Time to add the node. You can add the mod and multiply nodes in the same way. We'll also need a combine node to convert these variables to Vector3F. Add the combine node, and then click the data type at the top to set the output data to Vector3F. Now we'll link all the nodes together. Link trigger from the update node to set of lightning, so it will be updated every frame. Then, we'll link the following together. Get time to value 1 of multiply. Rotate speed to value 2 of multiply. Then link the output of multiply to value 1 of mod. Change value 2 of mod to 360 so that the Y angle will change between 0 and 360. Link the output of mod to Y of the combine node. Then send the output to the rotation of lightning node. You can now see the thunder sign rotating on your index finger in the preview window. We'll now hide and show the controller object using the hand gesture event. You can turn off the visibility of the 3D assets container to hide them at the beginning. Add the index finger up and set visibility notes to the visual scripting panel. Duplicate the set visibility node and check the value. You'll then need to drag the 3D assets container to the visual scripting panel and connect them together like this. Now let's try to implement the effect of having five accessories assigned to each finger. We'll also make it so that they won't show up until it detects the hand open gesture. Just like the previous example, we'll need to create another five finger trackers. Instead of adding the lightning objects, we'll need to add 3D planes under each finger tracker. We'll start by adding a hand tracker entity by clicking Add Object, Air Tracking, Hand Tracker. Then we'll create an empty object and drag the hand tracker under it. Next, we'll add a 3D plane by Add Object 3D Plane. We'll nest this plane under the hand tracker. You can rename these objects to a name that is reasonable for your hand gesture controller. For this example, we will name these objects to D Assets Container, Index F, and Watermelon. Select the object with hand tracker. In our example, it 
it will be index F. Find the hand tracker component in the inspector panel and change the anchor from hand center to index fingertip. Then you will need to check rotate axis Z in order for the object to have the same Z rotation as the finger. You'll now see that a default 3D plane will follow your index finger in the preview panel. Next, select the plane object in the hierarchy panel to open the inspector panel. Change the material from default to watermelon underscore mat under the model component. In the transform component, change the X, Y, and Z scale to 0.258. In the Y position to 2. This will create some distance between fingertip and the plane. We can then duplicate the index finger hand tracker four times to get the full hand. Rename and change the anchor in each hand tracker component to thumb tip, middle fingertip, ring fingertip, and pinky tip. Then rename each child object to cactus, donut, ribbon, and heart. Change material setting to the corresponding material as well. You'll be able to see these changes in the preview panel. Next, we'll need to hide and show the controller object using the hand gesture event. You can turn off the visibility of the 2D assets container to hide them at the beginning. Add the Hand Open and Set Visibility notes to the Visual Scripting panel. Duplicate the Set Visibility node and check the value. You'll then need to drag the 2D Assets container to the Visual Scripting panel and connect them together like this. Refresh the preview, and now we can see your very own effect in the scene and preview. When you show the index finger up gesture, the preview panel will display the 3D lightning object. When you show the hand open gesture, it will show the other 2D objects and hide the lightning object. We can't wait to see what you make. Check out the Effect House website for more tutorials and resources. See ya on Effect House.